Hello everyone, and welcome to another Stardew Valley video. This week, I thought I'd share the current project I'm working on in-game. I'm looking to spruce up my greenhouse a bit with a few fruit trees. And uh, now, if you've never worked with fruit trees in Stardew Valley before, uh, there are currently six different types of trees, being apricots, cherries, oranges, peaches, apples, and pomegranates. Fruit trees are different from regular trees in that they have unique designs and they change color with the seasons and provide a fruit each day in a specific season. Uh, they do require a full 28 days to mature, but they can be planted in any season. So fruit trees can be grown in the greenhouse, meaning you can harvest fruit from them all year long, but they, they do take up a lot of space. So you might immediately think that growing ancient fruit or hops uh, might make you more money, and you'd be correct in that assumption, but you can actually grow trees outside of the greenhouse soil. Uh, <laughs> and for those wondering, yes, this is an intended feature, and you don't need to worry about future updates removing your trees. So on screen now, I'm going to put up a picture of what is the quote optimal tree setup for the greenhouse, making the most efficient use of space. But that's not the setup I'm going to try in my greenhouse because sometimes you have to sacrifice efficiency for aesthetic and I'd like to be able to easily move around my greenhouse and I don't want it to be so standard. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and buy a seed of each fruit tree and decide how I want to lay them out. I've decided on one side of the greenhouse I'd like to have fruit trees with larger trunks and on the other side of the greenhouse to have the trees with slimmer trunks. So apples, pomegranates, peaches on one side, oranges, cherries, and apricots on the other. I don't actually know if these trees will grow in these locations because they're adjacent to the wall but I really would like them to grow there, so we'll find out together if this will work. Um, so the way fruit trees work is that is if there is anything in the 3x3 space surrounding it, it will take longer to grow. Uh, it will hinder their growth. So to test, I'm actually going to plant an additional three trees in some more traditional spots and see if they grow at the same rate. And now we wait and watch as trees grow. So it is now the 21st of the month, about seven days after we planted our trees, and all of them are indeed starting to grow. So that's very exciting, and that means they are in stage two. So we have about 21 more days until they are fully grown. We are back and a full season has passed, and what that means is that our trees should be fully grown now. So let's take a look. And sure enough, all of our trees are full grown, and we have fruit uh, from all seasons growing at the same time now, and we'll have these all year long. <laughs> it's, it's a little crowded in here, but, but I like it. It's cozy. And we can go ahead and pick an apple straight off the tree and eat it. Nice. So let's gather up some of our fruit and we'll head down to the little tea shed that I've created and we'll go about making some fresh, I don't know, cherry jam and orange jam and maybe some peach wine. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Happy farming everyone.